Hello everyone, today we are going to learn Brahms Lullaby so that you can put people to sleep with your playing. That didn't come out right. Anyway, here's what it sounds like. Okay, let's get to a close-up and let's learn Brahms Lullaby. Brahms Lullaby is in 3-4 timing, which means we're going to be counting 3 beats to every bar. 1, 2, 3. That will really help you through this song, so I'm going to help with the timing as well. So our first bar is just 2 plucks on the open E string. And the timing for that is, we're not playing anything on the first 2 beats, so it's 1, 2, 3 and... So again, one, two, three, and. Nice and easy. Our second bar is a strum of zero, zero, three. So just these top three strings. Then we're gonna play the open E string twice again. And the timing for this one is one, two, three, and. So we're not playing anything on that second beat. One more time. One, two, three, and. And that takes us into the third bar, which is almost the same. So it's another strum on zero, zero, three. And this time we're playing the open E string and the third fret on the E string. And the timing for this one is exactly the same as the timing for the second bar. So it's one, two, three, and. So if I put those first three bars together for you, that's going to sound something like this. Great stuff, so into our fourth bar. So our fourth bar is a full strum on a full C chord. Then we're going to play the second fret of the A string and the open A string. And the timing for this one's a little bit more difficult. So the timing is one, two, three, and. So we're playing on the first beat, the second beat, we're missing the third beat, and we're playing on the and of the third beat. So it's one, two, three, and. A little bit more difficult. Into the fifth bar. So we've then got an open A string, 3rd fret of the E string, 2nd fret of the C string, and the open E string. And the timing for this is going to be 1, 2, 3, and. 1, 2, 3, and. And if I just put bars 4 and 5 together for you now. So you can hear that coming together a little bit now. Our sixth bar starts with a uh, partial strum. So we're strumming these top three strings, the G, C, and the E string. Um, we're going to fret 0, 2, 1. So just a strum down on 0, 2, 1 together. Not playing the bottom string. Then we're going to play the C string that's fretted at fret 2. We're going to play that again. And then we're going to play the open E string. So bar six, the timing is going to be one, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. Nice and easy, that one. Bar seven is very similar, so we're still on that zero, two, one, and we're keeping that held down. Strum those top three strings again, and then we're going to play the C string fretted at fret two, and the E string fretted at fret one. And that is going to be timed as one, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. So we're just missing that second beat there. Our bar eight 
starts with a full strum on a D7 chord, which is 0, 2, 1, 2. Open A string, 3rd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string. And the timing for that is going to be 1 and 2, 3. 1 and 2, 3. And into our ninth bar, we're going to have a full strum on a C chord again. Nice and easy. This is exactly the same as the third bar. And we've got two plucks on the open C string. Then we've got an F chord with our third finger on the third fret of the A string. And we're going to pluck the open A string and the first fret on the E string, which is going to give us this. One, two, three, and into a strum on this chord, zero, zero, three, not strum in the bottom string. And I'm going to put the open E string and the open C string. And the timing for bar 11 is going to be one, two, three, and. Then into bar 12, so we're going to play the first fret on the E string the third fret on the E string and the open A string. And they are just, the timing for this one is just one, two, three, nice and easy. Then we've got a strum on our zero, zero, three again, bar 13. And we're gonna pluck the open C string twice. Bar 14 is the same as bar 10, so that is our F chord with our third finger on the third fret of the A string, full strum, open A string, first fret on the E string, and the timing for that is going to be one, two, three, and back to our zero, zero, three fret strum, open E string, open C string, again the timing is one, two, three and two three and bar 16 starts with a regular f chord but we're just not strumming the a string i'm going to pluck the open e string the second fret on the c string and then we're just going to strum the top two strings the g and c string completely open and that's it for brahms lullaby so well done on getting through it it's a great beautiful song to play and uh, thanks for sticking with me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe or just show it to someone else that you know that plays ukulele. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.